housing and employment needs for individuals with disabilities. I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Newsmakers. With me is Robert Stack. He's CEO and President of Community Options Incorporated. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. Your organization operates in 10 different states, but let's focus specifically on housing and employment and the work that you do there. It's challenging for many individuals with disabilities and their families when it comes to housing and finding meaningful employment, and that's where you as an organization can come in. Yes, um, there's been a tremendous uh, need for people with developmental disabilities to get housing. Um, there's thousands of people, uh, well, just to give you some statistics, uh, there, there's an estimate between 2 and 3 percent of the entire population has a developmental disability. So if you look at families that are, that are out there, um, there's a there's there a great need for them to, to to have housing, especially when mom and dad take care of a person with autism or cerebral palsy or an intellectual disability, and they go to school and they 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 do all of the things that you would do as a family, and then they get to be of an older age, and where most families the 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 the, the uh, person over the age of 21 will move out and go find an apartment or go to college. A lot of people with disabilities can't do that. So mom and dad takes care of them as long as they can, and then what unfortunately happens is they don't they they get to an age where they can't, and that's where we come in. And with that, you have a 108 houses in New Jersey, but there's a wait list of more than 5,000 individuals just in this state looking for housing options. Yes, and um, it's 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 terribly unfortunate, and I'm hoping that uh, there can be more resources that are put towards this. Um, there's you know again, it's not just systemic in New Jersey. There's well over 50,000 people at a national level that are that are looking for housing, but in New Jersey alone, it's a it's a tremendous problem and a tremendous issue. We also in New Jersey we have a much a more aging population, so the parents of you know Mr. and Mrs. Jones now Johnny is um, now Johnny is 40 years old. Mom has uh, you know one foot on the banana peel, so to speak, and, and Dad is very old, and they can't take care of him. And there's more and more of that happening. So it's actually becoming worse as time gets by. And people can reach out for you for more information related to housing. But employment is something that you're also working to address in a variety of different ways. You have businesses where individuals can come and work and learn job skills in the process. One of which is a flower shop. Yes, we're very proud of the flower shop. It's uh, it's. Uh, on Route 1 in Edison, if anyone ever wants to go by. We do, I'm so excited to tell you, we do right now about seven weddings a month. And uh, w the people that are there are not your typical flower store employees. They're people with autism, uh, intellectual disabilities, cerebral palsy. Maybe all they can do is wipe down the refrigeration unit. Maybe they can answer the phone. Maybe they can cut the flowers. Maybe they can, they can wash out the vases. Maybe they can take the orders. But they'll do whatever is needed to be done. They, they staff it. They help uh, with all of the aspects of the flowers. And they make minimum wage or better. And we think that, that entrepreneurial businesses like this could be replicated, templated in a lot of other places. And as you mentioned, on average, seven weddings a month. So you are looking for additional individuals, clients to come in and, and utilize these services. There's another uh, entity called the Daily Plan It, and you're working to meet the needs of businesses and always looking for additional businesses and entrepreneurs to utilize these services. Sure. So anyone, a business that wants to come in and rent a, an office, they get a full service office and people with disabilities answer the phone. People with disabilities um, will shred your documents. They will, they will clean your office. Uh, my favorite story that happened recently was uh, I ran in the Daily Planet and I wanted to use the phone. And uh, I, was, I asked if I could use the phone down the hall. And as I was on the phone, there was a fellow that came wheeling by in his wheelchair who is non, kind of nonverbal. And he put his arms up in the air and went, ha, ah, ba, ba. And I looked out in the hall and I said, please keep it down. And this fellow from Computer Associates came out of his office. He said, leave him alone. He works here. He was part of the group rather than me. You know, Jill, we all work for money, and we, but we also work to feel good about what we do. And what I've learned is that there's a direct relationship between the severity of your disability and your level of loneliness. And just as you have trouble making friends as you get older, so do people with disabilities. This is a, a great way to have people with disabilities make natural friends in a natural environment and also make money. And uh, those are just some of the opportunities available. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you. It was a pleasure. We've been talking with Robert Stack. He is CEO and President of Community Options Incorporated. I'm Jill Horner.